I've been trying to shoot this video forever now. It gets dark at like five o'clock at night now, and so I don't have time ever. But it's finally daylight, we have time, so let's uh, go ahead and set up and we'll get into the video. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today is a very important video that I really wanted to make, especially after doing my entire GT500 conversion front bumper kit thing. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check up over here or here, whichever way it is, uh, and check out that video of getting it to look like the beast that she is now. But this video is mainly focused on the review of the BMC Mongoose hood that, uh, that I put on the car. So I'm gonna tell you the goods, the bads, the uglies, the pretties, all of what I have, what I do know about the, the hood. So right off the bat, you can see the car looks amazing. It looks mean. If I'm driving behind you, it looks awesome. These are testimonies from, from my man's Kev. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. He's right over there watching me do this. So yeah, it looks amazing. It, it Yes, it's a great hood. The Mongus hood looks awesome. I opted for the carbon fiber uh, hood vents edition. It was actually 150 bucks. Kind of regret that because I have no other carbon fiber on the rest of my car. So I think the gloss black would have looked fine there. But I got carbon fiber, real carbon fiber, so it looks really nice. And I got the fiberglass version of it. I think they offer a carbon fiber version, but I went for the fiberglass because I was trying to save some money. Now wait, you might be wondering, why do I qualify to tell you about this hood? Well, this is actually the second BMC hood that uh, I've dealt with. The first one being on Casper. Casper has a BMC carbon fiber hood. I don't exactly remember which one it is, do you? All right, very well. And it, it fits fine, it fits great, looks great, it's awesome, right? With the uh, previous experience of BMC doing what they were, t you know, what they said they would do, said, hey, you know, I like this hood, it's different, haven't seen it around, uh, and let's give it a shot. However, here's the negatives. This is why I, well, I wouldn't recommend this hood. I wouldn't recommend this hood to anyone, especially because of the pain that it took to get, the work that had to be done to it once it came in, and then just the fitment issues. And I'll go into more details about that. But kind of my experience uh, with this hood is it took about six months just to get the hood in. Whatever was one excuse after the next of why it wasn't here or why we weren't getting an update. I think they said they were moving their manufacturing plant from Pennsylvania down to Texas and that's why they couldn't start production on it yet, whatever the reasoning being. And so after waiting six months to even get the hood, it came and the box was destroyed. Uh, a chip was missing out of the, the hood itself. So we had to recreate that with uh, body filler and that's not even a guarantee that it's gonna stay like that. If I decide to take the hood off at one point and I set it down, that could chip off and go away. Uh, so there's no guarantee that it was actual a permanent fix. There were scratches everywhere. The box was just destroyed and I don't think they packaged it properly. And I think the shipping company just was like, hey, here you go. They didn't, they didn't care. And that's whatever. I don't know if that's the shipping companies or if that's just what BMC chose to do with the shipping on this. I don't know. I don't know who's to be at fault for that one, but it is what it is. So after receiving the hood, putting it on the car, now you gotta take it to paint. So we took the car to paint. I was lucky enough to have my own little buddy do the painting for it. Uh, so it was significantly cheaper. However, if you were to take this hood to, let's say an actual body shop and they did the painting, it would end up being out the ass for, for labor. The reason being is because there were so many holes in the actual fiberglass that needed to be filled because it was too thin. The amount of prep and pre-work that had to go into it before paint could even start would just be ridiculous. Um, I think I spent a total around eight to nine hundred dollars to get the hood painted. Now, to keep in mind that also included the hood, the front bumper, and to blend it into the the side panels there and everything. So that that included all of that. So I think I got lucky and I got a really good deal. But with the amount of labor that had to go into it, you might not have you might end up spending more money. And with all of this being said, after finding out the holes about finding out the fitment, which I'll get into, that's the biggest issue here. Reached out to BMC to try and you know get something going like hey can we get a partial refund can we get another product because this is just not what we paid for with the how expensive the product is and have yet to hear anything back and that was you know about a year ago at this point point. and I think the the final thing that pushed it over the edge of whether or not I wanted that refund or not was the fitment is 
terrible. The amount of little things I had to do to get to the fitment to where it is now, and it's still not even where I would suggest, like where I want it. So when people come up to me at car meets and they're like, hey man, I love your hood, you know, where'd you get it? I'm like, you don't want this hood. I promise you, you don't want this hood because of the amount of effort, mistakes, and, and just time and money that went into this hood. It's just not worth it. If you are as particular about your car as I am, I get a little OCD about things. This gap has to fit this gap and, and vice versa and, and whatnot, and that's just not this hood. Uh, if you don't care about that, then maybe this hood is good for you. But for someone like me that, that wants you know the things to, to fit how it should, I'm very unhappy with this hood. I know it looks great from this shot, and actually you might be able to see the fitment issues from here. I, I don't even know, but I'll, I'll show you guys more in depth and close up. But I guess at the end of the day, uh, if I haven't said it already, do I recommend this hood? No, no I don't. I think that there are many other hoods that can make your car look more aggressive for a lot less of a pain. Yes, they might be a little bit more generic and a lot more people have them. However, you're kind of, you're saving money for one, uh, you're saving time and effort and just peace of mind knowing that it's gonna fit. And if it doesn't, they generally have a better uh, customer service representative than, uh, than I've had to deal with. So with just all these compounding things, I would just say it would be easier to get something that most people already have. Uh, unless you have a connection with BMC, then go for it, obviously, because then you can get your, your whatnots worked out a little bit better. But that's it for this video, guys. I it was very short, but I really wanted to make this video because the amount of money that was spent into making it look as, as it does now, it should look 10 times better. And it, it's frustrating for me, so I don't want you guys to go through that same frustration because yes, it's a, it looks nice. But once I start pointing out these details of like adding washers in here, getting rid of the uh, the hood adjustments, it gets frustrating in that it should fit with the juice. It's also like not even bright out, but I, I can't see. Anyways guys, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below if you want. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Yeah, until next time.